My new course is available now. It's called Instructions to Inner Peace, Finding Equanimity and Healing Through an Organized Practice of Ho'opono. Pono. <laughs> now, this course is for anyone with anxiety, depression, PTSD, anger, self-worth issues, or for any spiritual seeker who wishes to raise their consciousness. Ho'oponopono, or as many people who have taken the course call it, HPO, <laughs> means to correct errors. It's the ancient Hawaiian technique of cleaning unwanted thought patterns, taking responsibility for your emotions, and raising your frequency for love. I've organized it into a daily practice for you. Check out the link below or go to www. Peaceoverpain.com, enter the cyber clinic, and purchase this audio course for a very affordable cost. Give it a shot, see if it's for you, and please let me know how it turns out. Welcome to Inner Peace with Dr. Reese, a program that can help you become liberated in the modern world. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kevin W. Reese. So, are you surrounded by electrical pollution? Welcome to episode number 131. Today, I'm sitting down to talk with Mike Butler. He's a veteran nutritionist and entrepreneur and expert in electrical pollution. So sit down, relax, and take in this beautiful and important recording. Let's begin. Mike, welcome to the podcast. Hi, thank you very much, Kevin. So what is electrical pollution? All right, well, electrical pollution everything that plugs into an outlet generates electrical pollution, even through the wires. Wi-Fi is electrical pollution. Cell phone signals are electrical pollution. When you get close to your monitor or your radio or your headset, these things are all emitting electrical pollution. And the difference is that our bodies are electrical within themselves. Henceforth, when I, I always use the scenario of bringing a electrical drill up to your TV or something like that and watching it get the squiggly lines or something on it. So that's what the interference does with our bodies. It just sends enough energy into it and that goes even for the fact that your watch has a battery in it that battery has energy in it that energy is also emitted and it is affecting the body what about emf and eml all negatives for the body mm. because we all our bodies have our own natural frequencies um, different frequencies for different organs, different functionalities. And um, all these, whether it's low-level electrical frequencies or <laughs> frequencies from your smart meters, uh, they all have an effect. And the part that is probably more interesting to the individual is how these things affect them. Yeah. Because we're all unique. And these things do affect us, but to different levels for different people. So in uh, Europe now, as a fact, now in Europe that there's certain areas where schools are not allowed to have Wi-Fi in it. They now have, uh, I believe it's in France, and uh, they've actually got disability for people who have the severe effects of walking into an office building and whether it be the wi-fi or the lights or the electricity in the area can uh, disrupt them and give them symptoms that will make them sick sickly so 
yes, <laughs> these things are very real and very true. I do a specific test with people and their cell phone. And the cell phone, when I show people what the cell phone does to weaken your body, they literally throw their cell phone on the counter away from them every single time on account of the fact that uh. what you don't know that absolutely hurts you the most. So with this in mind, um, this demonstration, it literally constantly blows people away. Also, too, the other mm. thing that the demonstration does, it, it highlights literally how that cell phone weakens your muscle structure. Literally, uh. it weakens you in such a way that um, uh, you, can, you, can, you can be pushed over like very easily. And then you put the cell phone away from them three feet. And they're strong, like a, like a bull. I mean, it's 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 undeniable mm. what's going on. Yeah, I and I've I've heard you, I've heard about you doing demonstrations at like fairs and whatnot, and 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 showing people that this affects their lupus or their autoimmune so-called disease. Oh, you would not believe the things that I have seen in the last 14 years it would it, it's like god has come down and touched somebody and said heal when you put their energy right i've for the last 14 years i've seen everything from somebody with ms literally their hands just are vibrating like this and you put just the disc and i want to show you what we're talking about here so this is a frequency tuning disc. Right. Okay. So imagine somebody literally vibrating like this and you put that disc into their hand and then close their hands and within two minutes, their hand is as stable as this. I've got videos on the website with people that have, uh, whether Tourette's or certain things, People I have seen uh, doing these events, people walk up to me with canes or like, I mean, they need support in order to get around and dealing with me, some of them within 15 minutes, as long as it takes me to create their bracelet with this and adapt this to the bracelet and then put it on their body, most of the time, once somebody has stopped and is talking to me, I strap them up with a couple of bracelets because that it starts taking effect right away. And I've had literally people walk up to me with a crutch or a cane and walk away twisting that cane in their hand wow. because when you tune up your energy, it's like tuning up your car. It mm -hmm. can take your places so much better. So what, what's in the, this little disc that's the size of a washer? Yeah, a washer. Yeah. I, ha I have mine right here, and it has yeah. what there's, there's two big ones. Yeah. And then there's yeah. some little ones. Yeah. So the bracelet that I use is already a health bracelet. The bracelets that I use, a lot of them have far infrared, geranium, negative ion, and magnets on them. So those are four ener uh, frequency or energy products on their own to help with deleting the Wi-Fi, tuning up the energy or the flow of the energy. But when we add the disc, I don't promote any of those four other things that are on there because I understand what they do and I can relate to what they do. But this is what does the magic for me and knowing that when we put this on, it is tuning three different energies within the body. It is tuning the energies and the frequencies in the cells of our muscles, first and foremost. That's why when we do the demonstration, it is so evident that there's a difference. You can't deny it. So the, then, the, this bracelet with just these two little discs attached to it yep. does the whole body. Does, ah, I will not go as far as to say it does the whole body. It affects the whole body. But for somebody who has issues like in their lower body, they might need to put one on their ankle. So mm. as an example, 
So for me, there it is. Yeah. Right. I, the, how I got involved with all this in the first place was that in 1977, I was 20 years old. I got rear ended at over a hundred miles an hour. I was at a dead stop. Hmm. I know because at 20 years old, I was into cars and I was racing the guy that hit me. Ah. Unfortunate for him, he ended up smashing his face and he got hurt. He might have recovered better than I did, but he got hurt badly. So I suffered for over 30 years and my health was literally going downhill. I was walking around hunched over like an old man because my back was in such trauma that on my right side, it was like a rock, how my muscle spasms were in place. And I could not do anything. I mean, if I thought of working out or doing anything physical, I would be in pain for weeks. Chiropractor would twist me and it would throw me out for weeks. So um, I've tried everything. Q-ray, Percocet, orthopedics, you name it, I tried it. And then I was away on vacation and I was in such pain and agony that I went out the next day and I just started buying anything and everything I could find. And luckily, the luckiest day of my life was when I ran into a guy selling this and he did the test with me. And when he did that test with me, all I can tell you is this, I was weak because of the condition of my body before he put that thing on me. He pushed me over. This guy was like 70 something years old and he was skinny like a rake because he was a long distance runner. He got involved with this on account of the fact that he had arthritis so bad in his ankles from the running. He was about to get an operation because he couldn't take it anymore. Somebody loaned him the bracelet and he wore it for a week. At the end of the week, all his arthritis pain and symptoms were gone. Mm. He gave it back a week later, they all came back. He went and bought his own and they went away again. He says, I got to share this. That's how he got involved. I got involved a similar way. So when he did that test, I bought that first one because it was evident after he put the bracelet on me, I felt like I could have picked him up and thrown him across the room. Mm -hmm. The difference was that noticeable. So I bought it and I left and I walked away. Luckily, I got the number. So the pain was so bad in my body that within the first day, I could actually start to feel something. And that feeling, I, I say it's like this. It's as if somebody was walking around and just lifting weights off your shoulders every day. It's like they just, you understand, the pressure seemed to just ease. So I was able to make it through the vacation, and I was actually getting more and more comfortable as I went. And I went home, forgot all about it, and went, remember what I said. I was at a stage now where when I stood up off a chair, off my couch, I was hunched over. I was not standing up straight. So one day, it was about, I got to say, about four to six, six weeks later, I get up and I stood straight up. And I mean, I did not, I was not hunched over. And I literally stood there scratching my head going, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and I picked up the phone and I called up the guy and I said, is it possible that this thing could have taken away my back pain and had me standing up straight? He just laughed at me. And he said, I told you my story, right? And all I could do after that point is say, I want the rights to Canada and I want to sell these globally. <laughs> and I got hooked up with the right guy, the guy that owns all the content. And I started doing it very slowly because I actually didn't know if I actually believed everything at that point. Right. Well, let me tell you, a friend of mine opened up, was going to uh, go to the, P the flea market in Toronto and open up and sell stuff. I said, I'll tag along. So I tagged along. He ended up closing his booth. I stayed there for years. And I, when I moved out of the area, I left the booth with somebody else to take care of. We travel all over, like doing these shows and stuff. We have a following of people like you would not believe. 
I've had people where uh, at the show, at the CNE in Toronto, it's almost three weeks that you're there. So you get to see people at the beginning and you get to see people coming back at the end. Mm. I had uh, this guy one come, he was on a, on a cane. His leg literally went like a V down the side. Like it literally went like that. And his wife didn't want to stop, but I got his attention somehow. And he stayed there long enough that he ended up buying two and he ended up walking away. His wife was not there and the people that they were there with, they all left. This guy ended up catching up to them. He wasn't hardly using his cane at all at that point. But that's the part. That's the part that got me was that they ended up coming back to the CNE, closer to the end of the CNE. And his wife walked up to me and she apologized to me like you would not believe because she was so grateful that her husband had the what to do to stay there long enough and get what he got because she had her husband back. Mm. And that was worth her coming there and telling everybody around to listen to this guy. So was, what, what is it about these desks? Like it's, it's, it's Tesla. In the, in the biggest way I can say it, it's Tesla, because that's the technology that we're talking about. Nikola it, Tesla. Tesla said that if we as human beings can manage the energies in our bodies and manage them to the levels that they were supposed to be at, that we would live longer, healthier lives. That simple. Hmm. That man was a genius. He was. And he was a and reckless, the bottom line he was is, a genius. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the things that I do in my shop are all Tesla related. We do a hair analysis on a Tesla coil that will literally give people their epigenetic needs and what they need to clean and what they need to put into their body from a nutritional point of view and allow anybody to have a blueprint of what they need to do to tune up their body. And it all comes from strands of hair. Mm -hmm. Your hair has three to four months of valuable information, unlike yeah. your blood or your urine, which is just a snapshot of the moment that the test is done. So with this, it really gives us a deeper look into what your needs are or what you need to clean. And, you know, we've had this stuff tested like at these shows, because when we do these health shows, you have all kinds of professionals. And I have people come to me who are sort of speakers or influencers there. And uh, they want to test me. So one person, she had issues that she was dealing with of her own and she wanted to test my machine. So we did, we ran the test and sure enough, it showed that she was full of uh, mold and that was her underlying problem mm. that she had been dealing with. So, you know, these are the kind of things that people really need to know about in order to understand that there are ways that people can absolutely have simplistic paths to better health it's a it's a great product and um you know even that from the very first time i was introduced to it impacted my health because um i also deal with water um, clean water so uh, when i was uh, introduced to the doctor that came from australia to, to do my test initially um that I had uh, digestive issues, which was um, uh, acidic, as, as acid sort of a thing. And when we did the test, it came to light that I don't need to be drinking alkaline water at that right. moment, sure. on account of the fact that it was disturbing the balance in my guts and sure. giving me that pain. Within two weeks, it was gone. So... You know, this is a, a great discovery that you made. 14 years is a lot of testimonials, it's, a lot of evidence, you know? Yeah. And one thing's for sure, you would never, ever catch me without these on my body. Right. Ever. And so that's my next question is, does every human 
need to have a bracelet on their wrist and ankle right now, being that we're in a Wi-Fi society? Absolutely. If I could make it so clear to people what is going on out there. Now, some people obviously are going to be more immune to the Wi-Fi signals. There are. I've done this long enough now. I know that there are some people that their chemical makeup, their body makeup is it's, it's strong towards that. But I don't know if that lasts forever when you're bombarded with this stuff. And I don't can't tell them whether or not it's affecting them internally at a level that can create an issue mm. down the road because these are the things that people don't know. It's like water, you know? A lot of people, I, I cannot believe that people are still not convinced that drinking tap water or water that is not purified is not good for a body that's 70% water. The logic there, it just doesn't compute. So, you know, it's just, there's just things that, I wish people could understand that life can be so much easier if you just avoid certain things, you know, the longevity rules, sure. uh, avoid certain things and make sure you put in certain things. If you do these simple formulas, it really puts you on a path to a much healthier life. And that means that the quality of life also is significantly better. Like getting your 90 essential nutrients. <laughs> Absolutely. A minimum of 90 essential nutrients. Because I know I'm well over 90. Yeah. You take the plant-derived minerals on top of it, maybe? I do. I do. The, I, do uh, I, I do. I do probably. Uh, I don't just stick. I do multiple things. Yeah. And I do the cleansing on an ongoing basis, you know, so to make sure that everything's flowing. It's to me, it's like a cycle. Whatever's coming in has got to go out. We got to keep that flush going. Can somebody experience a different feelings in their body when they start wearing the bracelet? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, wh wh what are they going to experience in, say, the first th week? It, 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 okay. Now, it, it goes beyond that because it can be so, um, for some people, strapping that bracelet on can throw them into a, a tailspin. Really? Okay. Because they are so off in their energy and so energy sensitive. Okay, so I have actually dealt with people where they purchased a bracelet and they know that the benefits are good. But if they're in a work environment or where people are, they cannot, they can't do it because it throws their, it, it makes them really jittery and kind of uh, anxious and it ramps up their energy level like really high sort of a thing. So but there's a way to deal with that. So I tell these people, go home, take, do your thing through the day. And at the end of your day, when you're going to relax and sit down just before you're going to kind of get ready to unwind, to go to bed, strap the bracelet on and then put that bracelet on and then go to sleep. Chances are they might have one of the best sleeps of their life that night and wake up in the morning and that effect will be gone because you've had time for it to adjust with your body over the course of the night while you're asleep. Hmm. But I've had people put it on and uh, have everything from a euphoric feeling where it feels like it just lifted like weights off of you, like I kind of explained before. Um, and I, I have people who literally have said, told me that I didn't know if I should say anything to you because, you know, because people are like, they don't know what to do or what they're expecting. And right. so they don't say anything. So I've learned over the years now to always be asking people because I know what the potential possibilities are. Hmm. Do you just keep them on through a shower and everything? Absolutely. I never take mine off. Only time I take mine off is if I'm showing somebody else. Hmm. Wow. 
It's powerful stuff, man. Yeah. It, but 14 years ago, when you got introduced to this, there were there were smartphones, but not like now. Oh, it's a totally different deal nowadays. 5G going everywhere. And at the intensity that it's being pumped out, uh, it's totally going to be a different world now. And I have a lot of people when the 5G talk started, came to me and they were insistent that this was going to be a life, a, a, a changer for the people when it comes to the 5G and what's going on, because they already know the effects of how it's protecting them in the sense that it's taking over the tuning. Because there's one thing that I know for sure is that when these are on, this is overriding all that energy that's around us from affecting our muscles, our bones, and our nervous system. Mm. Our nervous system controls everything. Yeah, That's why this thing works so well is because of what it's doing, especially to the nervous system. Being strong and having good bone structure, like how the density of the bones is good. But when your nervous system is ramped up and functioning at that higher level, that changes everything. Right. Sure. We're, we're surrounded. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, we're surrounded. I mean, my cell phone's right here. We're on a lap. I'm on my laptop talking to you. Yeah. Microphone. Right there. You got your head, head your headphones on your head. Yeah. And the lights are in the ceiling. The wires are running through the walls. Yep. Yeah, it's all there. So and not only that, you've got the Wi-Fi. If you're in a, if you're whether you are wherever you are, if you're in a house, you got the smart meter, which is kicking out. That is one of the most dangerous things on the planet. And then you've got the Wi-Fi from the neighbors if you're in a condo or an apartment or whatever. So, yeah, you're surrounded. Is it, you know, some people are trying to minimize this pollution by not having a cell phone number and just using Wi-Fi to call out. <laughs> well... <laughs> Um, I don't, you see anything that you can do to lower your exposure is good, but I'm not sure how effective that's going to be because I, myself, I carry my cell phone with me all the time sure. and I am not as concerned about what the cell phone is doing to me because I've got these on right. and there's other things that you can do you know i do shungite you know to also help with the energies and right you know yeah, so i got shungite on yeah yeah exactly so they're like it's it's a, it's about learning all the different things that you can do in order to help one of the next greatest things that you can do is restructure your water hmm. honestly like the, the restructuring the water is like huge when it comes to maintaining the health, because now what you're doing is you're pumping more oxygen into your body and there's nothing better for these bodies of ours than lots of oxygen. How do you restructure water? Ah, with energy again, uh, Tesla again. Um, I have a couple of different things, but uh, one of the things is an app on my bad energy phone mm -hmm. that actually converts um let's see if i can pull it up here go ahead like i use a filter system a berkey okay you know so i'm taking tap water and i'm filtering everything out and yes then I, and then i have that water yeah and sometimes i put it out in the sun yeah uh, yeah, now this app actually is kind of unique. I don't know if you can actually see. That's this is uh, the this is the first version of it. There's a newer one, but this one here, what that does, it allows me to literally do the energy in my body, and it works. With, and it works with sound and light. And you can literally feel the difference. If I was to do like my strength test after using the app on an individual, 
you would notice that your strength is improved. But you can use it on alcohol. So like as an example, a cheap wine, you can make a cheap wine taste good because the app will restructure the liquid huh. and make it so that it actually has robust flavor. And you can do it with hot drinks, such as like coffee and tea, and of course, water. And when you do it with water, it's going to change that water from H2O to h 2 h 3O2, huh. increase the oxygen. And it's just, uh, and when you read up on how this affects the body, it's amazing. And that this is the cell well being, right? Yes. Yeah. Go figure an app changes the water. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And I, I have an app and I have a, a card as well, right? Energy card. But these things are all like a lot of people, a lot of people think I'm like I'm dealing with witchcraft or something, but it's not. This is true science. Yeah. This is where we get away from the man-made science and go to the godly science. Right. <laughs> what is homeodynamic testing? Homeodynamic testing. Okay. So the best way to do homeo means that the Everybody is dynamic in how their functionality is. There's always moving parts within the system. So basically, that's what we're doing. We're testing your, in your body and the moving parts and making sure that um, the interactions within the body is where it's supposed to be. So it's like eliminating um, the foods that are going to distress the body when you're trying to heal the body. Okay, anything along those lines, anything that makes the body um, have a more clear path towards where it wants to be. Removing the restrictions and cleaning the paths to healing. So what goes into the to the test? Well, basically, we just all I have to for me to with that testing, all we do is just with the hair analysis, it's just highlights everything that you want to do to put it into your body. So all the vitamins and it, and it breaks down to show even the, the level of vitamins that you have in your bank. You know, so it's like when people get stressed, you know, you're going to your, your body's going to call on more nutrition to keep you moving, keep you going. So it's like double. It's like being able to test and know that, um, you know, you've got enough or you need to increase or you need to 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 if, if you've got issues that are uh, on the microbiological side things that you want to clean out because it's creating blockages within your ability to heal so is there a difference between the homeodynamic testing and the epigenetic bio profile or is it kind of the same so all in the same 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 realm okay uh, okay yeah. cool and you don't have to go through a lab uh, we, we, it's all done through, uh, the internet. If you believe that, um, I take the hair, I scan it on my device. I gather the data into my computer. I make a connection with the lab in Germany and transfer the data through the internet. And within about 30 minutes, I have a full blown report back that I consult with an individual with. And the, the report is actually so nice that it actually gives you a 90 day program to tell you what you need to do based on this report mm. to optimize your wellness over the course of the next 90 days. Right. Yeah, that's key. Yeah. That's key right there. Yeah, it's no sense getting a report if you don't have instructions with what to do after. So. Do you use uh, diamaceous earth? All the time. Every yeah. single day almost. The only really? time I don't do it is on the weekends so much. So uh, my wife and I, we uh, do a smoothie every single day. And my smoothie has uh, 
Uh, I'm going to say maybe about 300 nutrients. <laughs> I, I, I lied. All right. And then um, uh, the diatomaceous earth, uh, I, I put that in because it is, I've, I've been on diatomaceous earth now, I'm going to say, could be running up to about eight years. And I've gotten to the point where I just know that I can't be without it. I need this stuff cleaned out of my body. My body does, I notice the difference if I go more than three days without using it. So what happens for me sometimes, um, besides doing the smoothie, um, if I feel like I'm, I, I, I'm 60, I'm gonna be 65 in February, okay? And I feel better than I did when I was like 20. That's huge. So understanding your body and being so in tune with it now, I can tell you if I feel my system backing up or whatever. So at night, sometimes I'll do a massive DE, mostly water, but I'll do probably about two tablespoons of heaping tablespoons of DE. I put that in me before I uh, go to bed at night or something. And I guarantee you in the morning, <laughs> I'll be cleaned out. Mm. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Why DE though? There, I mean, there's so many cleansing products out there, right? Well, mostly because it, I find it very gentle. I find that it has huge benefits in the fact that it has trace organic minerals in there. See, DE was an, a living entity. So that's why it's, a pref it's preferred by me because I can use it in multiple, multiple places. I can brush my teeth with it. I can clean paint off my car with it. I can do so many different things and I can consume it. And, you know, if you want, I, we use it around the property. If you want to keep ants out, you know, there's, it's got so many uses for it. Like the laundry list of uses for diatomaceous earth is ridiculous mm. absolutely ridiculous and women you want to do a facial scrub mix up a little de make it a little paste and scrub 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 i've done it myself scrub and then let it sit dry on cake up and then shower it off just takes that top layer of skin off exfoliates so many uses okay the cell phone should it be not in our room when we go to sleep it should not be in your room when you go to sleep. Yeah. And young ladies listening, and all ladies listening, do not stick your cell phone in your brazier next <laughs> to your heart. Yeah. Please. I've had to tell, I, I actually, and I, the reason I added the all ladies was because I actually had a woman in my shop last week who did the same thing and I had to tell her. Like you guys, the risk is just way, way too large because you don't know your body, your susceptibilities and what it can do to you. But the evidence is there. Don't do it. Yeah, I, I've heard people tell men too not to put it in their pocket because it, yeah. it can affect their uh, erectile dysfunction or, or the... Uh, all sorts of private issues. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, for sure. And, you know, that's one of the biggest things, I think, with the bad energy that we've learned is that it can affect, it can allow the body to shut down and become not, imagine if it can zap your strength, that's one strength you don't want zapped. You don't right. want any strength zapped, right? Right, right. Yeah, right. so it all plays into it. And I can actually say for 64 years old, when people are talking about those types of issues, I'm shocked on account of the fact that my wife is almost half my age and I, I'm just blown away by what I'm able to do compared to like years ago. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Right. It's, it's, it's eye opening. And that's <laughs> just party to taking care of the body. Yeah. Well, it's our vehicle, right? It is. It's the only one we got. And I cannot believe how many people do not appreciate 
what they have. Uh, people generally aren't aware that we're supposed to have these 90 essential nutrients either. So that's important knowledge to, uh, to spread, right? Yeah. And you know what? This is, this is part of the problem. People have gotten to the point where they, they put all their trust in a doctor. Right. A doctor. Listen, the doctor is no different than your car mechanic. You get a good one and you get a bad one. You get a mechanic who wants just to get paid. He doesn't care about you, whether your car runs or not. Or if, listen, I'm not disparaging everyone, but the fact of the matter is that people just need to have their minds open, their eyes open, and be concerned number one about themselves and not hand themselves over to somebody else to take care of. Yeah. It doesn't work. You will go down. You have to take responsibility for yourself. Absolutely. The last thing that I listen, the last thing that I want a doctor to do to me is recommend me anything. Yeah. Unless I've got a broken bone that he needs to fix. He is not qualified to tell me how to manage my health because he wasn't taught. He was taught how to maintain issues in your body with drugs, pharmaceutical drugs. He was not taught how to heal your body and preserve it and maintain it for longevity. Yeah. Drug dealers. <laughs> the worst kind. Yeah. Because all that, <laughs> there ain't no fun in their drugs. No, no. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pain management system. It is. A problem management system. And, you know, thank goodness for the, for the ER, for situation, certain situations. But yeah. We need them. And I, I think that, uh, unfortunately, that all everything that's going on right now with the pandemic and everything it's reshaping that whole industry right now it seems to be because there seems to be a lot less activity around doctors offices these days and it's it's a, there's a change going on yeah well people are more aware of their immunity their immune system and it's not like you can go to your physician and say hey <laughs> how do I, how do I increase my immune system? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, yeah no what, what, what's the doctor going to tell you? Yeah. I've actually, I, I actually know people. I actually know people who their doctor have told them, why are you taking vitamins? You don't need them. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. What, you know, you and I, we understand that yeah. what this is made up of, yeah. right? Vitamins, minerals. I call minerals our foundation. Vitamins are fertilizer. Mm. Right? So without my minerals, I'm dust. Right? So I, I think people people need to get the truth. And uh, it's what the bones the, are made of. The bones are made of minerals. <laughs> our whole body is made up of minerals. That's why people consume bone broth. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, but you know what? You don't see that being advertised on TV every two minutes. No. What you see on TV is go to see your doctor because we got this drug and we got this drug. And if you feel in this, you feeling a little bit off today, grab this one. Yep. That's what the messages are. Yep. Yep. And, and my guess is at some point it will end. Uh, I don't know if it's in our lifetime, but at some point it will end because We're going back to nature. Oh, I just think people are people are waking up in in the sense of not wanting to be taken advantage of. Yes, yes. In that well, sense, they're waking up. More and more people are 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 going through the pain management monopoly, and three years maybe not even three years, maybe three months later saying this isn't working. Yep. 
And and now they're searching out someone like me or you. Yeah. CBD. Oh my gosh. You know, good, good product. You know, there's yeah. so many different things that are out here right now that I, when, when I started pumping out CBD oil and had uh, people calling me up saying, I haven't walked in years and stuff like this and say, I'm now I'm walking again and all this other stuff. And I'm going, really? <laughs> On account of the fact that when you're walking around and you don't have all these challenges and then you sell a product to somebody and you get that type of response, it blows your mind. Yeah. It sets you back and you go, God, I love what I do. You know? It's godly. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's, it's fine. It's uh, getting people back to nature and getting people back to function. Yes. Yeah. I know what you You mean. I don't understand people who reached 60 and 70 years old. And the first thing that they want to do is they want to give up. They want to throw in the towel. They want, they think that they've, that that's far enough that they've had enough. I'm, I'm halfway. (laughs) At 65, I'm hoping I'm halfway because yeah. I'm going to do my share to keep this functional. Hey, Dr. Wallach is 82. Yep. All over the place. Yeah, yeah. he's he's active. Yep. I want to be just as active or even more active. Before I let you go, what attracted you to Dr. Wallach and his 90 essential nutrients? And- well... Okay, so this is actually very good because I was already in the wellness industry, as I said, and I'm looking to add on to the bracelets and the things that I'm doing. And I wanted to do it with the best in nutrition. I didn't want people to be guessing whether or not they were getting a good product. So um, I did some research and I actually ended up in the right place because I don't even know if the other company that I was comparing him to at the time is even still around, Mm. not like we are anyway. So um, that's what I did. I looked for a product that would have everything that an individual need mostly so that they could simplify what went in here to take care of this. And that's how I ended up with Longevity and Dr. Mm-hmm. Wallach. Okay. And then of course, the, uh, the information that's provided that goes along with that, when you have somebody of the experience and caliber of Dr. Wallach goes an awful long way. Yeah. And he's not, he's coming from, he's, he's, he's coming from multiple points of view Mm-hmm. with his knowledge and he's better able to basically create the picture to make you understand the reality of what you're dealing with. Yeah. There's protocols involved. It's not just pushing supplements. Exactly. Yes. There's a history that he has that says that he knows what's best for us. Right. Right. He's not some guy making a product that he's just pushing out and saying, take this and make me lots of money because that's not even in his wheelhouse as far as how he's thinking at all. He's working to save mankind from mankind. Yeah. That was well put, actually. (laughs) Well, I lost my little brother in 1999 to cancer. He was only 39 years old, two little kids and a wife and all that stuff going on. But it opened my eyes to the fact that we hadn't, as a family, gone through anything like this previously. And then all of a sudden, one day, I mean, literally one day we're sitting there and I was with my brother at the time. We're sitting there talking, whatnot. And then within a short period of time, a matter of a few days, he's fighting for his life. They aggressively went after him for the treatment and the treatment hurt him. It sure. scarred him. And Radi- it, radiation, chemo. In hard hard they hit him because he had a cancer that only 
was very aggressive. Only three people in the country had it. He was a personal trainer. So he was in very good in shape. shape, right? And it took him down in a year and a half. And it would have taken him down a lot quicker if he wasn't in the shape that he was in. But what I learned going through all this, through the emotions and watching my parents and, this, and the whole thing was that there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this world yeah. and a lot of stuff that goes on behind people's doors in people's lives that you don't have any idea. There's a lot of, you know, I was born in Jamaica. I know that there's poverty all over the world. People need help. So being an entrepreneur, I would say that in one way, I got a message that you could make a difference in the world if you took your skills and your passion and put it to work to build something that can affect people's lives. Where can somebody come say hello to you and learn about everything that you offer? Referlife.org is where we have the social, the community, the cooperative bodytune.com which is b o d hyphen e hyphen t u n e dot com is where people can learn about all the things we do in the wellness side of things and the bracelets and the hair analysis and all that is all accessible from the bodytune.com page and at referlife.org. If people are interested in registering there, I would say this, Kevin, let's you and I get you situated there first. And then we could uh, utilize your location, your uh, referral in order to pump some people in there first. And then maybe we can turn it over and help a bunch of others after. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good? Yeah. Absolutely. Mike, I appreciate your time. I appreciate the interview and the interest. Thanks for listening to Inner Peace with Dr. Reese. If this episode opened your heart, feel free to share on social media and tell your loved ones. Also, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Until next time, may peace be with you.